What's up guys, Chris schwartz Edmondson here from schwartz Edmondson Web Design. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to implement a static web design inside of Squarespace. So specifically, we're gonna be looking at implementing this hero banner section and taking it from the static mockup and then actually creating it inside of Squarespace. So I was recently browsing Pinterest and Behance looking for web design inspiration, and I came across this really cool design by Joss Cook. And he built out this whole mock-up here. It's a static mock-up for this, I guess, professional mountain biker. And I'm just going to be focusing on this hero section for today's video because I think it's so cool. It integrates the text into the image. It blends into the rest of the page really nicely. It has a lot of character. We immediately know what this website's gonna be about. Even though it doesn't have any like descriptive text on it, we know Ben Deacon is probably the guy in this photo and he's probably really good at mountain biking. So it's a really creative way to tell us a lot about the website right off the bat. And I just love the design of it. So the rest of this website, we're not gonna be getting to in this video. It would actually be really difficult to implement. I wouldn't recommend trying to create the rest of the website in Squarespace. That's just not what Squarespace was built for. But we can really creatively create this hero section pretty easily with a little bit of ingenuity inside of Squarespace. And we're not gonna be using any CSS today, which is great. So I think we're gonna get a lot of takeaways out of how we turn a static mockup like this and then actually implement it on the web so that it's responsive. Because it's one thing to create a really cool design like this, it's another to actually make sure that it's gonna look good across all devices. So the first thing that I do when I look at a mockup is I look at the elements and I say, okay, how could I actually recreate this in Squarespace? So we have this Ben Deacon text here and I can immediately rule out using a text block for this title because the way the biker is integrated with the text. We could never get that effect if this was actually a text block. And so that pretty much leaves us with the only option of using an image to recreate this section. So I think the first instinct that people would probably have is would be just to save this as an image, this whole thing, and then upload it as the background image to a section. So the problem is that it's not responsive. So it looks okay on this screen size, except our logos are getting cut off at the top, and then the bottom is also cut off as well. And it becomes even more apparent the issues on smaller screen sizes. So our image is clearly cropping and our subject is being cut off. So it, even though this is probably our, our first instinct is just to upload it as a banner image, it doesn't work. So going back to the drawing board, how could we keep the subject always in frame? So if we think about this image, it doesn't really matter if the background gets cropped a little bit because it's just dust and dirt and debris. We always have to make sure though that the subject is in frame. So the solution that I came up with was we can cut the biker and the text here and this little bar. We can cut that out and separate it from the background. And then we could save it as a PNG with a transparent background and we could upload it to an image block within the section. And that way image blocks are responsive our subject will always be in frame. And then what we can do is take a clean plate of the background without the biker in it, so it's just the dirt in the background, and we can upload that as our background image. And so what I did is I came into Photoshop here, and first I started with my original image, and then what I did is I created a clean plate of the background, so I removed the biker by using uh, the content aware fill, and then I went through and I cut out each letter and the biker and his bike there, and I created the bar here. And one thing to note is it helps it to integrate it a little bit better that I didn't just use like harsh lines down here. I used a special brush to make sure that the edges were kind of dirt-like themselves, and that kind of helps sell the effect a little bit better. And then uh, I also made sure that the logos were on their own layer and then when you put it all together, it looks exactly like the original, except we now can upload this biker as its own image block, and we can upload these logos as their own image block as well. So that means that the logos and the biker will always be in frame, and this background image will cover the whole section all the time, 
and it might get cropped a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. So we can look at what this actually looks like building it out in Squarespace by jumping over to our Squarespace 7.1 site. So here we have the section fully built out now, and if I edit the section, you can see how I've uploaded each component that I separated out in Photoshop. So here we have an image block in this section, and it's containing the biker and the text and the bar. And then right above that, I, I saved the logos as this really wide, skinny image with just the logos in it, and I've uploaded that in its own image block as well. And then for the background image, I've uploaded my clean plate, which just has all of my dirt, which I showed you before. And so now we can see that because I've uploaded the biker and the logos to their own image blocks within the section, and image blocks are responsive, this will now look good on all screen sizes. And we always make sure that our biker and our logos are in frame. So that's the great thing about uh, using this technique is that we didn't have to use any code at all. Um, it just takes a little bit of like creativity thinking about how we can redo this design in Squarespace in a really usable way. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink down this section and you'll see that it looks really good across all screen sizes. And again, that's because there are image blocks within the section. And so it's completely responsive. And the nice thing is because the biker and the image are on different layers, essentially, we can create some nice separation by adding a background image effect. And this is a new feature in Squarespace 7.1. I have a video on it on my channel as well. So if you wanna learn about all these background image effects, uh, go check out that other video. But a really cool effect that we can add is this zoom image effect. So if I save that, then the background will slightly zoom out as we scroll down the page. And it almost looks like the biker is now like kind of shooting out of this dirt cloud as we scroll down the page, which looks super awesome. So we now have a really engaging hero section that leads into the rest of our website. And we were able to take our static design, which looks really cool, and then implement it in a responsive way and a really engaging way inside of Squarespace. So I think the key takeaways here from this video are you always have to think about responsiveness when designing websites. So whether you're getting a design from a client and thinking about how to implement it or you're doing the design yourself, from scratch, you always have to think about how will this actually be implemented in Squarespace in a responsive manner. So we covered responsiveness, we covered uh, creating depth in our images, we covered going from a static design to actually implementing it in Squarespace. So I hope this video was helpful and gets your creative juices flowing a little bit on how you can create some more custom designs inside of Squarespace. I do work with Squarespace web designers to help them implement designs that they get from clients. So if you wanna have a planning session with me and talk about how you can actually take a static design and implement it into Squarespace, you can hire me through my website for that. All right guys, that's it from me. I'll see you in the next one.